Welcome to my day in the life. Self-teaching computer science. My days usually start around 6.30 a.m. And no, I'm not doing this because I think it's some hack to wake up early. I just happen to really enjoy the mornings and I find it's my most productive time of the day. And also I like to get ahead of the day before all the peasants were still sleeping. A cold day again. After grabbing some breakfast, I sit down to get started on the work of the day. For the first few hours of today, I wanted to focus on maths. The current course I'm doing is Mathematics for Computer Science from MIT Learning, where I learned the basics of discrete maths, probability, and other maths that you need for computer science. This is all part of my self-taught computer science degree system I built for myself in Notion. You can watch more about that in this video. Then I remember that earlier I didn't do what I usually do in the morning, which is set goals for the day. After working hard for a few hours and Definitely not straying to watch YouTube videos at any point. I allow myself a brief break of browsing Reddit and watching YouTube videos. After that, I tackle the second task of my day, which is to finish my notes from the Programming Languages B course. After that, around noon, I have some leftover lasagna from yesterday for lunch. Around lunch is when I allow myself a break to watch some Netflix. You know, besides all the other breaks I'm taking, of course. So usually I will start an episode of Netflix during lunch and then I'll be allowed to finish it afterwards. So that's time when I don't have to be working. By the way, make sure to follow me on Instagram. There's not much content there yet, but I'm going to be posting there very regularly. So definitely follow me on Instagram if you want to stay up to date on what's happening on this channel. After finishing my Netflix episode and... <clears throat> watching some YouTube videos, I decided it was time to edit one of my own YouTube videos, namely this one, where I talk about what I believe to be the best computer science course for beginners to get started learning computer science. And if you're wondering why I have two computers for any coding related activities, as well as any internet browsing, I do using my MacBook because I prefer the Mac operating system and that kind of stuff doesn't really require that much power. But for any power intensive tasks like video editing, what really matters is getting the absolute highest amount of raw power so for anything like that, I use my big PC computer. And in case you're curious, here's what my setup looks like. We've got the Keychron K6 keyboard and the Logitech MS Master 2S, I believe it's called. I'll have all of them on the screen and in the description below. This QHD monitor, which I have no idea which model that is. The light that I use to light my videos. A gimbal, drone, and the machine that powers this setup. I just got the best idea for the thumbnail for this video. Before we go back inside, I wanted to briefly talk about my favorite topic, me. More well, specifically, why did I decide to make this YouTube channel? So in short, my channel is dedicated to my journey, self-teaching computer science, and also my life as a self-taught software engineer, which will start in around six months because I've signed an offer to join a big company in London as a software engineer. But mainly, I wanted to make this video because I want there to be something in 10 years when I know all about computer science. Maybe I'm the next Mark Zuckerberg. I founded a new big tech startup. Probably not, by the way, but I have big dreams, okay? I want to be able to look at this moment and say, oh, there he was in some random forest in Finland, basically not knowing anything. And I think it'll, it'll just be really cool for me to be able to look back at my journey. So where if someone finds value in this, that's amazing. But even if no one ever watches these videos, I still want them to have them out there because I think it's cool to document your journey. I think more people should be doing this. I think this is really cool. Anyway. It's pretty cold in here, so we're gonna get inside. I'm probably gonna end up being a lazy piece of shit for a few hours before I continue my studying. After indeed wasting a whole bunch of time doing absolutely nothing, I finally got back to work, this time coding my website. So I'm building a website for the Internet Made Coder brand, or I don't know if you can call it brand. Oh no, we're gonna call it that because it sounds cool. Yeah, anyway, the website's gonna have probably a blog 
where I'm gonna essentially make blog versions or text versions of these videos. It's gonna house any resources that I end up creating in the future and possibly some other stuff. But for example, it's gonna have my free Notion template for tracking your progress. You can go to www.internetmadecoder.com where you can get this template for free. After getting hench as hell at the gym, I was hungry again, so it was time for dinner, aka my second break of the day, besides all the other breaks, of course. I finished another episode of Ozark, wasted some more time, and then got into the last work session of the day. At this point I started the Programming Languages C course, and by the way, this is a part of a series of Programming Languages courses that I'm doing via Coursera from Washington University. They teach the fundamentals of programming languages in several languages, so you learn the general principles of how programming languages work, and you learn to contrast the different styles like functional and object-oriented programming, as well as different features like static versus dynamic typing and that kind of stuff. So what is the moral of the story of this day? Well, as you can see, I'm definitely not constantly working. I'm taking breaks all the time and I'm sort of allowing myself to be a lazy piece of shit from time to time. And I still get a lot done actually, because it turns out that the quality of the hours that you put into your work are a lot more important than the quantity of those hours. If you utilize what is called deep work and you focus on working in a way that when you're working, you are fully focused and immersed on your work. And then outside of that, you can do whatever you want. It turns out that doing that for just a couple of hours a day, you're gonna get a lot more done than doing 10 hours a day of really inefficient, what's called shallow work. And it turns out that the human brain can really only focus for around a maximum of four hours and or even less if you're a beginner. But that's okay because if you're actually doing deep work, you're still getting a lot done without actually putting in that many hours. So I focus on getting those around three, four, five hours of deep work in a day and making sure I complete the tasks that I set for myself each day, which on this day I did. So thanks for watching. If you found it entertaining, please leave a like because it helps the channel and bye.